So we've been asked a lot if it's really worth it owning an RV. So in this video, we are gonna break down the truth about owning an RV. There's never been a more popular time to own an RV. There were more RVs sold in 2017 since, well, anyone was really keeping track of RV sales. Even though there were fewer RVs sold in 2018 versus 2017, people are still RVing in record numbers and enjoying getting out and spending time out of doors and with their families. So one thing you have to remember when you're looking at buying an RV or when you own an RV is that it is not a car. Things can and do go wrong. Right now, research is telling us that about 50% of RV purchasers are first time buyers. That means that they've not ever owned an RV before and you have to have the proper expectation when you're purchasing an RV. It's not the same as a car. When you drive it off the lot, especially if you choose to purchase new, there are some chances you might run into a few problems. So right now we're sitting inside of a brand new Fleetwood Flair. And let me tell you something about brand new RVs. One thing that you want to keep in mind is most of these RVs, in fact, all of the interior of these RVs are put together by hand. Now contrast that with when you buy a car that goes down an assembly line and a lot of it's even put together by robotical mechanical type arms. And it's the same car time after time after time. There's very little margin for error when you have a car on an assembly line being put together by machinery. Now, picture an RV. It's not being built by a machine. There's somebody that's actually doing it by hand. And with all of the different floor plans that are out there, which there's hundreds and hundreds of different floor plans that are out there, it's not always going to be the same screw going in the same hole in the same place every single time it's put together. What does that mean for you? Well, if you're purchasing a brand new RV, you have to be ready to accept that there can be some things here and there that are going to go wrong. Fit, finish, things like that can especially be problematic during the first few years of ownership. For example, I'm sitting in a brand new Fleetwood Flair, and one of the things we noticed right when we walked in was this right here. Nice. And look at the floor. There's metal shavings on the floor. So one thing you have to remember if you're buying a motorhome or even really a travel trailer for that matter, it is a house on wheels. Every time that you drive it or tow it down the road, it's like the equivalent of a very small earthquake going on inside of the house. So there are things that are going to come loose over time. There are things that are going to need repaired. We've heard some pretty interesting stories in forums and Facebook groups about microwaves coming down from where that they're mounted to because they really weren't mounted properly to begin with. So just remember, it's like a small earthquake every time it goes down the road. Unless you're driving down some highways in Louisiana, then it's like a 7.5 earthquake going on <laughs> as you're driving down the road. One thing to consider when purchasing an RV is to consider purchasing used. Not only will you save yourself the depreciation hit that comes from purchasing a brand new rig, but most likely a lot of those little problems will have been worked out by the time the rig is two or three years old. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind when you are purchasing a used RV. RVs do require maintenance, whether it's a pop-up trailer, a bumper pole, a class A, you still need to maintain the outside, the inside, and the motor if it has one so you want to make sure it's been well maintained. Having the RV professionally inspected by an RV inspector who is certified can help you avoid any pitfalls that you might run across when purchasing used. Water leaks are a very common problem amongst used RVs that have not been well maintained. So a professional inspector knows those problem areas to check and can help you feel confident that you're making a good purchasing decision when buying used. 
Someone in our early days of RVing once told us, if you're not polishing it, you're fixing it. We've kind of found that to be somewhat true, but bear this in mind. If you're full-timing in your RV, it's your home. It's your home on wheels. If you are a homeowner and you own a house or a condo or whatever, you're going to be doing maintenance on that as well. Think of your RV as your second home. It's going to require repairs and maintenance. You're gonna have to do some fixes now and again, same as you would have to fix a leaky faucet or maybe a burst pipe in your current home. So thank you so much for watching our video about the truth about RVs. We would love to hear some of your experiences in the comments below. So make sure that you drop us a comment and like this video as well as subscribe to our channel to see more videos about RVing and the RV life.